Our lesson for today is all about materials that absorb water. Have you heard the word absorb before? So what do you think is the meaning of it? Absorb means to take in something such as liquid in a natural or gradual way. So let's do an experiment to identify materials that absorb water. Let's go! So the materials we need for the experiments are water, plastic container, glass, tissue, metal spoon, plastic, sponge, styrofoam, cotton, rubber band, paper, and a piece of cloth. First, we need to pour some water into plastic container. Pour it gradually. So remember, do not do this activity if you don't have any guardian beside you. So then we will soak each material. So this is this is all the materials we need to this experiment one at a time into water. So we will identify and classify which material absorb water and which materials do not by checking our list here. So let's start. So first, we will test the tissue paper. We will soak it here into water. So as you can see, it absorbs water. So let's squeeze it. Absorb water. Next, metal spoon. Is it absorb water? What do you think? So, as you can see, the water only stay on the surface of it. So, it doesn't absorb water. Next, plastic. Let's soak it again. So it doesn't absorb water too. Next, sponge. Sponge. Okay. So it absorbs water. It is a porous material. Porous or absorbent materials have small holes that allow air or water to pass through it. Ibig sabihin, meron silang maliliit na butas kaya nakakadaan or nakakasipsip sila ng mga liquid materials. So in short, porous materials absorbs water. Next, a glass. So it doesn't absorb water too. Styrofoam. So styrofoam doesn't absorb water too. It is a non-absorbent. So non-porous or non-absorbent materials do not allow liquid to pass through it. In short, non-porous materials do not absorb water. Next, cotton. So cotton absorbs water. It is a porous material too. It is a bad example of a porous material. Next, it's a paper. So 
So as you can see, it absorbs water too, but it's only minimal. Rubber band. So it does not absorb water. The last one, a piece of cloth. Oh, it absorbs water. So according to our experiment, these are the materials that absorb water. Tissue, cotton, paper, sponge, and a piece of cloth. And these are the materials that do not absorb water. Metal spoon, plastic, rubber band, styrofoam, and glass. Alright, to know if you really understand our lesson for today, let's have some quiz. You will just look at the pictures below and what materials do you think will absorb water? And what will not? Fill up the table below by writing the name of the materials in the first column, then put a check in the proper column if it can absorb water or not. Time's up! So let's answer our quiz. First one. Towel. Does it absorb water or not? Okay, checked. It absorbs water. Very good. Number two. Plastic bottle. Absorbs water or did not absorb water? Very good. It did not absorb water. Can absorb water or did not absorb water? Good job. It did not absorb water. How about cotton? Very good. It did absorb water. Last one, cloth. Very good. It also absorbs water. Good job, everybody. So that's it for our lesson for today. Hopefully, you've learned a lot and enjoyed. If you have any question about our topic for today, just comment down below. Thank you, kids, and God bless you all. See you on our next lesson.